So, sir, this is the new segment which I have introduced with the best of business and it's going quite famous with everyone. It's called Wrap It Round. So, this is the last week segment which I'm going to do with you. And you have to quickly tell me your answers without thinking too much on this. So, your favorite subject which was there in the school? In school? Yeah. Mathematics. Okay. And your guilty pleasure? Food. Food. What kind of dishes you love to do? I eat all food. I am very fond of food. And if you had to name three favorite dishes? At Sindhi uh, curry and uh, the Sindhi curry chawal is uh, the hottest favorite. And uh, I like different types of soups, the Chinese soup, the Japanese soups. Soups is uh, uh, a great favorite. And of course, Italian, you can't think all the pastas I'd love to swallow. Okay. And your favorite uh, vacation destination, if you had to name one? Favorite vacation, I, I still remember Europe, driving myself across Europe through the Black Forest and areas like that. I think that has been with the children in the seats with me and it was fun with the whole family and driving around. One thing education has in your bucket list right now. Cure diabetes in India. Your fitness success rules, if you have specified things. So, I, uh, I'm a gymmer. Uh, I do cardio and I'm a runner. Your go-to mantra for life? Enjoy every single day. We have heard maximum successful people <coughs> receive a lot of good critic also and worse critic also. But what is the most funny critic you must have received till now or the worst critic? Uh, the most uh, mm, the worst critic was a guy who bought in Pawai 10 years ago an apartment. Uh, I'm talking about a story 30 years ago and was very happy with what he got and after 10 years came and complained to me that now you make better buildings why didn't you make better buildings 10 years ago because I keep improving the type of buildings that I make so every 10 years the guys who have bought for me 10 years earlier are quite unhappy and this happens all the time best advice and worst advice that you have got tell me from anyone focus you need to focus on things and really not too many distractions in life uh, to do it and especially a person like me who has got uh, multifarious activities and multifarious interests tends to get distracted. So focus becomes very, very, very important for me to do on a subject which I need to complete. And have you ever received worse advice? I, I don't believe it's worst or good advice. The uh, uh, it's relevant or not relevant. So when people give advice, they give it looking into them into consideration. And it may not apply to you. So I would not consider them as good or bad advice. I would consider it as applicable or not applicable to me. Okay, favorite uh, current book that you're reading and why would you recommend it? I'm reading a book on marriages. What are successful marriages? Okay, and why would you recommend it? I recommend it because I think it's a fantastic book because I'm hearing about so many divorces. Yeah. I think it's a damn good book. It's uh, by Haryani, Madhvi Haryani. Okay. So last I will ask is, uh, if you had to give three advices, and uh, three advices, I know it's very, three advices in bullet points to young students who are embarking on their career, what those three advices would be? Do what you love. Be committed to what you love and learn how to do it better every single day of your life. You'll never tire of it because you love it. You have a passion on it, so you'll give it your very best. And if you discipline yourself to focus on it, you cannot not be successful. But if people think about it, uh, as we talked before, that this is work and this is pleasure, then uh, you can't be fantastic success. So all the people who are, I remember a time when I once asked for an appointment from Mr. Mukesh Ambani himself. I'm talking about 15 years ago, maybe 20. I got an appointment at 11.30 p.m. in his office because he was finishing his meeting at 11, 11.15 on a previous meeting. So he said, I'll see you for half an hour at 11.30. And he did, you know. Time just becomes irrelevant to them. If you're in love with something or somebody, I mean, would you bother about the clock and watch? No. So same it is with your life and love and work. Thank you so much, sir, for coming here to Rest of Business Series. It's 
My pleasure to be with you. Thank you, Kritika.